All right, now that you know how to load data in Python via Pandas, and you know how to do that using different data sources, as you saw CSV, JSON, text files, and Excel, and now you want to understand how and learn how to manipulate these data frames. And by manipulation, what I mean is deleting rows and columns from your data frame, and adding new rows and columns, and also modifying ex existing rows and columns. So that's what you're going to learn throughout these lectures. Uh, but first of all, I'd like you to understand how data frames are indexed. And with indexing, I mean, you know, uh, we have this data frame here, and this can be a big one. So this happens to be a shorter one with only six rows. But if you have big data frames with lots of columns and rows, uh, then you may want to extract information out of the data frame. And to extract information, you need to have like a coordinate system in that data frame, like an embedded coordinate system. So that if you want to access, let's say, so these two rows here, this portion in here, uh, you want to know how to do that. So that's what you're going to learn now, how data frames are indexed and how you can slice them. So let's try to extract that portion of the data frame. There might be different ways to access that portion of the data frame. The first way is to use label-based indexing. Uh, the other way is to use position-based indexing. So your data frame uh, has column labels and index labels. So now you can use labels from your index column and labels for, from your header, your column names, to access portions of your data frame. With label indexing, you want to use a lock in there. So the lock method. And then you pass square brackets in there. And then that gets two elements. And the first element could be a range of the index column. So we're, we're talking about labels, about strings. So you have to pass, you know, 735 Dolores ST. And then uh, a range, so with a column there. 332 heel st and then from country to id execute that and yeah this is our portion so when you use labels you're including the first label that you pass there and the last one as well so everything between those and um, like here country and employees is included as well but id uh, also and of course, similarly, almost similarly, you can access, uh, you know, single cells from your data frame, just like that. So the intersection between this uh, index label and this column name is USA, uh, which should be this one here. If you want all the USAs, then you just pass everything there and you get everything here. Which, of course, if you want, you can uh, convert it to a list. So a simple list using the Python built-in function, uh, which is list. And that's about label-based indexing. Now, this is not the common way to access, to extract data from the data frame. Uh, more common could be to access a data based on indexing, not based on uh, uh, labels. So uh, to do that, uh, you do df7 and instead of lock you do ilock that again expects two items so the first would be the range of your indexes actually let me uh, print out the data frame here so that you can refer to that uh, so let me access from Dolores to the 23rd Street. And that would be one, two, three, I believe, yeah. And also from country to ID. So again, one, two, three. And yeah, you can see the difference now. Uh, you know, the ID wasn't included there and either was 23rd Street. Because this is, as, as you do with lists, this is upper bound exclusive. So with Python list, 3 is not included in the, in the slice. But with labels, that the last item of the range was included in the slice. 
So in this case, you want to pass four there and four there. And that's how you, you get your portion. And of course, similarly, you can do things like that. So you get all the rows or only one of them. So that would be a row with index three, which is this one, but only four columns con country, employees and ID. So USA 10 and four. All right, that is position based indexing. And yeah, that's what I wanted to teach you about uh, data frame indexing and slicing. And I'll talk to you in the next lecture.